Adjusting how many days of email are syncing with your iPad. A question we often receive about email and iPads is how our users can see more of their email. They find that when they pull up their email on their iPad, they can't go back all the way in their email like they can on a computer. So let's take a look at that setting. First, tap on Settings. Then tap Mail Contacts Calendars and tap on your Exchange account, which is your GISD email. If you look down the page, just above the Delete Account button, there's an option that says Mail Days to Sync. I'm going to tap on that. And what I see here is I can tell the iPad how much of my email I want to see when I'm checking on my iPad. Do I want to see things dated within the last day only, or up to the last week, or the last month? I could also select no limit, but that is highly discouraged, as essentially all of your email, which lives on the email server on the internet, would also be on your iPad, and it will take up all of your available space. For a lot of people, one or two weeks is sufficient. I tend to use two weeks because my iPad is a supplemental tool for my email, not my main email tool. If I needed to get anything older than two weeks, I know I can always go to my computer and get that. After you make any changes here, it's automatically saved. So once you've made your selection, you can continue doing whatever else it is you needed to do with your iPad. This concludes our tutorial on adjusting the number of days of email to sync with an iPad. If you have questions or need further assistance, please put a request into Edufori Help Desk at the address shown on the screen.